show, The Cantankerous Cook. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, good afternoon, ladies. Today's gourmet recipe is hockey puck stew. The most important part of this recipe is the proper grade of hockey pucks. Ask your butcher to cut it just right so there's enough fat for flavor. As you can see here, this particular hockey puck is sirloin cut. First place the hockey puck on large cookie sheets. Oh, what are you doing in my kitchen? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, come back here with my lunch. It's morning, it's morning, so bop for symphony. Things are always happening melodramatically. Your heart will spark right from the start. Welcome to the 9,000th episode of Sadness and Sorrow. Julie. Yes? There's something I have to tell you. <laughs> Why, Mother, your hair looks marvelous. Well, thank you. But I thought you were a blonde. I was. Oh, but I was getting a little gray. So I had my beautician tint the gray hair blonde and dye the blonde hair black. Then I had these gray streaks put through it. After all, I wanted it to look natural. Naturally. <laughs> Julie. Yes? What I have to tell you concerns your brother. You mean Harold? You mean little Harold who wanted to wear that cabbie trip 10 years ago in the mountains? Yes, Julie. He's been found. Hello! Where is he now? He's outside. I picked him up at the airport this morning. Oh, Mother, call him in. There's something else you must know, Julie. W what? Harold was. He was. I can't bear to say it. What, Mother? Oh. What, please? What? Harold was. He was found and raised by a pack of wolves. But, Mother, it's Harold. He was always your favorite. Surely being raised by a pack of wolves won't change that. I guess you're right, Julie. You're always right. I guess if he can learn to adjust, so can I. Call him in, Mother. your toys. Let's start out by meeting our panel of celebrities. First, the star of India, Miss Mentor Tata. And here's Hollywood's favorite sport, C.R. Romeo. Next, the star of the silver screen and social set, Miss Debbie Taunt. And last but not least, that well-known cowboy star, Kentucky. Let's meet our first contestant and see what toy he's brought to bet against our panel of stars. What is your name? My name is Curtis. And what toy have you brought for us? This is an educational toy Aunt Bertha gave me last Christmas. It's designed to teach you about life. No matter how you put it together, it doesn't work. Okay, stars, are you ready to bet your toys? 
Okay, first toss-up question. Who is the jolly little gnome that brings us presents once a year? The question will start with star number one. The Tooth Fairy. I'm sorry, you're wrong, star number one. Star number two. Hey, man, I think I got it. The Easter Bunny. You're wrong, too. Star number three. Well, it has to be your Aunt Bertha. You're wrong, too, star number three. Please tell me, star number four. I got it, I got it. It has to be Santa and Nader. I'm sorry, stars. You're all wrong. The question goes to Curtis. Tell me, Curtis, who is the jolly little gnome that brings us presents once a year? Santa Claus. You're right! You just won all the celebrities' toys! And there goes another very happy contestant on everybody's fun and game show, You Bet Your Toys! Meanwhile, Dr. Hertz and Nurse Hatchet are beginning an important operation. Forceps. Forceps. Knife. Knife. How's the liver, doctor? Looks pretty good. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? I hate mayonnaise. How about mustard? OK. What does this look good? And so concludes another episode of Doctor's Lunch. If you have dull, dingy floors, switch to slick. Quick. I did, and boy, am I glad. Just try it once, and you'll agree. Your neighbors will notice. Allison, can I borrow a cup of... <laughs> 